Hello, this is Jake with Van Dyke Software, and in this video, I demonstrate SecureCRT's keyword highlighting feature. I'm running SecureCRT 8.5.1, and I'm connected to a Cisco router. I've set up buttons in SecureCRT's button bar here to facilitate running commands easily. For example, show IP interface brief, enable, configure terminal, and so on. My initial goal is to color the words up in green and down in red wherever they appear on the screen. To get started with keyword highlighting, I can simply select the first word I want to highlight, then right click and choose Add Keyword. I'm not using any keyword list yet, so SecureCRT creates a new list on the fly. I'll call this list Cisco. SecureCRT already added the word up to the list, and when I press the OK button, all of the up words on the screen become highlighted. I want it up to be displayed in green color, so I'll open Session Options, and in the Appearance category, I'll turn off Reverse and turn on both the Bold and Color options instead. Then, I'll press the Edit button to make changes to the list. After selecting the keyword I want to colorize, I press the Set Color button and choose the green color I desire. After setting the color selection, I can preview what it looks like here by clicking away from the word. I press the OK button again to close the Keyword List Properties window, then OK to save my session options, and now I see the up words all highlighted in the desired bold green color. Now let's handle the down word. I'll double click to select it, then right click and choose Add Keyword. Since red is the default color SecureCRT uses, I can see that I don't need to do anything else unless I desire to choose a different shade of red. I press the OK button, and now I see all of the down words capturing my attention in bold red. My next goal is to have each shell level prompt colored differently. Let's start with the user exec mode prompt. I'll highlight the greater than sign, right click on it, and choose add keyword. I'll edit it since I want it to be a regular expression pattern that will match the user exec mode shell prompt regardless of the host I'm on. The pattern I'll use is a sequence of anything but a greater than sign one or more of those, followed by the greater than sign. I'll enable the keyword is regular expression option and press the save button. Then I'll set the color I want for this pattern, which is green, and I'll press the OK button. Now you can see that my user mode shell prompts are all green. I'm going to do the same thing for my privileged exec mode shell prompts. One or more of anything but a hash character followed by a hash character. This is also a regular expression, and I'll set this one to orange. But notice how it also colors the global configuration and DHCP sub-configuration prompts in the same color? The generic pattern I used matches those shell prompts as well. It's time to add another keyword expression. I'll open Session Options and edit the keyword listing so I can start out with that existing pattern with the hashes and then customize it by adding elements to match literal open parens and close parens right before the hash with anything in between them. And choose a red color for that. As a note, each of the keyword entries listed here is checked by SecureCRT in order from top to bottom. The generic pattern I added earlier matches any sequence of characters ending in a hash, so the new one I added just now must be moved up in the list so SecureCRT will check it before checking the more generic pattern. As you can now see, the config mode prompts are displayed in my new red color. Taking it one step further, I can add another pattern for the DHCP config submode, this time adding elements to the pattern to allow for the characters DHCP to show up inside the parens. Choose a blue color this time, make sure it's positioned above the other more generic patterns, and here's a bonus tip. You can toggle keyword highlighting on and off in the main options menu without having to dive deep into your session options. Or, with just a little bit of initial overhead, create yourself a button on SecureCRT's button bar to toggle it on and off in even fewer clicks when you need to. That's all for this video introduction to SecureCRT's keyword highlighting. If you have additional questions, reach out to our support team and stay secure, my friends.